How have policies around the world like Brexit or America First policies as it relates to trade, trade tariffs and, and other agreements, how has that affected your global footprint or strategy? Well, I think it's important to, to recognize as part of that that, that uh, the world we live in today can't simply be looked at through lo one lens, meaning we can't simply look at the economic environment. That today, it's really the, the, the multiple lenses that come together of economics, of politics, of societal issues that we see influencing many things. So as you use the terms protectionism, uh, and, and why that's occurring, whether that uh, you know, comes in the form of Brexit or whether that manifests itself in terms of trade wars or tariffs, we're seeing more and more of that. From a city perspective, uh, I, I would say in terms of our business, it really hasn't affected us much because again, we're operating in all those places and as they change trade policy, as they change employment policy, cities there on the ground with them partnering and in many ways best positioned as trade routes realign, uh, as immigration policies and labor markets change, as investment uh, needs shift from one jurisdiction to another, we've got the flexibility to be with them wherever, wherever they go. Might you, for example, decrease your footprint in, in, in the UK if, if Brexit were to continue and go through? Well, we, we, you know, we are adjusting our footprint in the UK, uh, not as I would describe as a reduction, but simply shifting those resources based on what's likely to come as a consequence of the new rules coming out of the separation between the UK and the EU in terms of where and how we'll need to conduct, as an example, our markets business. Okay. So those people aren't going away. We're simply moving them from one jurisdiction to another.